Okay, let's continue with this cubic meter. I realized that I haven't saved this thing, so we can either click here or click on save. It doesn't matter. And it asks you to save to somewhere, save to your projects. I'm saving it here and I say, well, this is the cubic meter. Okay, it has got the name cubic meter here and it will save in the autosave interval. I think it's every two minutes. Uh, ch let's check this again, app settings, minutes between saves, two minutes, that's perfectly fine for me. Okay, now we don't need this anymore. I'm going to select it and press delete and it's gone. Okay, now what we've done here with the cubic meter has been a little bit complicated because we've drawn every line of this thing, every of one of those 12 lines. We don't need to do this if we want to build something in SketchUp. It's far easier because we have the rectangle tool. So you use the rectangle tool here on the left side. You click, you get it, and then you click once to open the rectangle. And then you see on the, on the, on the bottom here, it gives you the dimensions. So what do, dimensions do we want to have? We want to make this a perfect square. So 1000 comma, that's how you separate the two dimensions, comma 1000, enter. And now you have the perfect square here. And please, whenever you want to make a rectangle or a square, never draw it by hand, but use the rectangle tool that you have. And you see those diagonal lines here. So you see one line for the golden section. So if I click here, it says golden section. And that means we have something that is aesthetically very pleasing for the eye, for the human eye, because we we see this relation from this side to the longer side is something that has a very pleasing relations. So if this was one meter in reality, then this would be 1.68 or something meters. And this relation, the ancient Greeks already discovered that, that this is something that makes things look quite pleasing. Then there's another line here and you see it. It says square. So whenever you see this line, you know that you're already doing a perfect square. If you want to lock onto this, because it always gets lost when you move the mouse. If you want to lock onto this, try to find the square diagonal once again and press shift. And you see now the blue lines are much heavier and you see that I can't do anything wrong here. I can only make the square bigger or smaller, but it never but it never loses the dimensions and I can make a perfect square now. Okay, so those two additional guiding lines you have with the rectangle tool, you have the, the golden section. You can also lock this with the shift tool and you have the square. Now I want to delete those things again. Let's select everything. Oops. And let's go back to our square, which is 2D. And well, how can we continue from here? If you want to get to the cubic meter, we can, of course, use the line tool once again, but please don't do that. Be smart and use the push and pull tool. So this is the thing that makes SketchUp as a program really stand out because you can do everything in 3D very quickly with the push and pull tool. So if you hover with this push and pull tool over the face, you see that all those blue dots appear. If you click, you can push or pull this face. And let's do this. Let's click once. And then you see we can pull it upwards. We can pull it downwards. And how high do we want to go? Well, we want to use this reference. You can also type, let's do this. We can type 1000 because it's a, it's a cubic meter. Or we could have used the reference point here. Those two objects are completely identical. But building this one, the right one, has been so much easier and faster. Whenever you're building something, don't go back to the line tool and draw it by hand, but use the rectangle tool and separate the dimensions with a comma. Use the push and pull tool. I'm pressing P now to get with the shortcut faster to the tool. And you don't even have to type in the height. If you have something as a reference point, you can go on this edge here. You click and then you've built the cube. All right, and of course it doesn't stop there with the push and pull tool. This thing is a really fun thing because 
you can easily manipulate everything in your sketch so you can build something you can manipulate all the faces that you have you can push them and pull them as you wish and if you if you press control you see that a little plus sign appears next to the tool which means that you now can start a new object from the face that you are selecting so if we if we are clicking and clicking once again we've built a new object now and this happens with this little plus sign that we have here so you can either continue the same object and push it or pull it or if you are pressing control you can build a new object so much for the push and pull tool i'm going to delete everything now i'm selecting everything once again with the frame I'm pressing delete